Hey guys, Master Ningen here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video. And so if you have been doing the B-Pan event every single day since the four year started, uh, after the reset uh, just now, you should have been able to get the final medal to LR your B-Pan. Uh, special shout out to my boys uh, Jake of Blades and uh, Roy the Entertainer who managed to miss... I think Jake missed one and Roy missed three days, so unfortunately they are not going to be able to join the LRB plan club, so F's in the chat for them. But I, of course, did it every single day, so we have her awakened. She is only Super Attack 10, uh, with part two of the four year that's going to start sometime within the next couple of days. I don't think we have an official date um, announced. Uh, they will add missions that will allow you to get the second set of 15 medals and I think another couple of copies. Uh, I think I have my second copy at SA7, so I still need three more copies, but they're going to add missions to give us the medals to LR the second one so we can get her to Super Attack 20 for free. So, actually yeah, let's leave her in the middle just because she gets legendary power. So, I'll do this rotation and then we'll go through what she does very quickly. She still super attacks early, even as, even as an LR. So she still does what we would refer to as her 18 key super uh, before 18 key. Um, so let's do this. Obviously, normally you would run her as a support unit, uh, but we are gonna we want to show her off a little bit. So we are gonna pair her up with this other pan. Obviously, another pan unit is basically the best link partner for her, aside from legendary power, which we are getting from the Go Bros here. So she got over half a million attack stat. I mean, that's not the worst. Uh, she didn't get the stun though, sadly, but yeah, see, uh, tanking, just like before, she will tank very, very well if her, as long as her passive goes off. Um, so, while we go through this now, let's bring this up here. So, this is the Wings Spread Out to the Cosmos LRB Pan, technically Pan GT Honey, but there you go. She, her leader skill is, uh, recovers 3,333 HP per key sphere of character's type obtained. I'm not really going to go into that because you're never going to use her as the leader. So her 12 key super is actually 9 to 14 key. Uh, it's colossal damage with the chance of stunning the enemy. And then her secondary super is 15 key plus. So you only need to get 15 key. And then it's colossal damage with a medium chance of stunning the enemy. So the first one's 25 and the ultimate is 30% chance to stun. She is one of the only LRs, I think, that doesn't do Mega Colossal with her uh, secondary super, but she is basically a free-to-play sort of support unit, so I'm kind of not surprised. Uh, her passive skill, Bursting Forth, recovers 33% of damage dealt as HP, which I believe is up from 30%, and then she has a high chance of reducing damage received by 55%. I believe it was 50% before. And the high chance is 50%. So she has a 50% chance to mitigate damage, which is very, very good. Uh, her active skill, Leave It to Pan, is all allies attack plus 33% for one turn. Can be activated starting from the third turn once only. So obviously we have that here now. That enables everyone to get a monstrously high attack stat because this buff is actually calculated after everything else like links, other support units on the rotation and things like that so we're going to use it here and then what i'll do is when we get into the second fight i will float her off so we can see a rotation with maybe the go bros or super saiyan 4 goku with her active skill active so we're going to use that pick up that get her full key and then we will grab this uh, I forgot to mention her links, they haven't changed much, all in the family, Saiyan Lineage, Battlefield Diva, GT, The Innocence, Shattering the Limit, and of course now she has Legendary Power, and she is still on Hybrid Saiyans, Dragon Ball Seekers, Goku Family, and Youth, so none of that has really changed. Um, we've got Buller on the rotation as well, so what do we get? See, we managed to break a million attack stat with B-Pan, so, I mean, that's pretty good. So she is going to be very, very useful. If you still haven't done basically any of the super battle road stages that she will go on the team she'll be very very useful tanking stunning buffing everybody else she is a fantastic unit um, i'm kind of disappointed way before we knew she would become an lr like obviously before it was announced on jp or anything um i have barbered quite a few copies of her um because obviously once i got her to super attack 10 and rainbowed her there wasn't really anything else you could do with her 
So of course now that I want that second copy of SA-10, it's been a while since I've gotten drops. So as I said before, my secondary copy of her is only at Super Attack 7. But like I said, I believe we get some extra copies with those missions that will come along in order to get the extra medals for her as well. So shouldn't be uh, too long for before we have her at SA-20. And then I'll probably just do a... I'll probably just use her as a support in a showcase for somebody else rather than do another video for her. But let's see. So this is going to be the final turn that we... Well, will it actually, I don't know. Will we take out Vegito in one whole turn? Maybe not. Um, so what we'll do is we'll do this. Uh, it's four... Not enough for her ultra, so let's see. I think the actually, I think that's the super attack animation for her lower key super is just the same as it always used to be. So we're getting supered, so let's see. If she gets her passive off, she should still take a fairly decent amount of damage, but okay, no, she did. <laughs> I don't think she did, so 100k. Maybe she did, I don't know. Would she take more than 100k? I'm not sure. But yeah, that's her, obviously her old school super attack. The 18 key one is pretty cool. Well, I say that. I'm going to keep constantly referring it to the 18 key, even though we all know at this point it isn't actually 18 key. I guess technically it's Ultra. Is it the Ultra Super, the actual name for it? I don't know. But we're also used to calling it 18 key Super now because of the uh, other LRs that I'm blatantly just going to keep calling it that. So, uh, who has the most defense? Yeah, it's still the GOAT Bros. Um... Let's do that. Yeah, we'll do that. I was going to say, I guess I kind of don't want to finish him off just so I can float off B-Pan on the next rotation, but we'll just get this out of the way. Oh, Gobro is going to take a super with type disadvantage. What are they going to take here? Oh, 117. So to be, yeah, so to be fair, I wonder if B-Pan did actually tank then, because... She took only slightly less damage than that, but I guess the GoBros do have type of disadvantage. But I've had absolutely uh, obliterated Vegito here, so I think Goku might actually finish him off. But that's alright, we've got plenty of time in the next event to float her off so we can then get her active skill going for a nice big buff for one of our LRs. So I did remember that we fight Ultra Instinct Goku this time, so I have brought items to deal with uh, his Spirit Bomb stage. So let's do this for now. Not ideal really putting that Gohan in the front, but I guess at least he does have, uh, he does have type advantage at least. So let's grab this and then grab these. Oh, okay, yeah, that's still some pretty uh, pretty decent tanking there from the Super Saiyan 2 Saiyan man. And a crit as well. Okay, I guess he's going to get Kamehameha in return. Hey, getting that dodge. So because he's a support unit, I'm pretty sure I gave him 15 dodge. So dodge coming through there. And B-Pan, 700,000 attack stat with another support unit on the rotation. Not terrible. Hey, and she takes him out. <laughs> A little victory dance there. So, floated her off. So, we'll get her onto our LR rotation the next time around. So, we want to get to that as quickly as possible. So, let's just go straight in with Goku. Uh, we can even get a super for you if you he, she, he does happen to survive somehow. But... I think Goku should probably one-shot this Super Saiyan blue Goku 3 million attacks that so and this is only a 55% friend but obviously we all know at this point just how ridiculous the Super Saiyan 4s are so okay so Spirit Bomb Goku uh, oh this is not the best rotation though is it um, okay so we'll do this because I can still use another one next turn. That's the advantage, I guess, of not using, like, a Ghost Usher, is if he then is in the first slot. Well, actually, no, because we know where he is. But Ghost Ushers, you can't use two turns in a row. Barbers, you can. So 
we'll just do that to make sure we don't get spirit bomb to death and this pan is a fairly decent tank with two support units on the rotation so she's probably going to take no damage at all yep and then Bulla, obviously not going to do much so oh, look at this right well i guess we are going for goku so we are gonna active skill Let's see how high we can get him up to. So with a, I think we had a normal support unit when we got to 3 million attack stat. So let's see what we can get to. With all these orbs, we should get his 24 key super. Oh, and it's... Oh, God, and it's a Dokon attack as well. So we will get to see his attack stat at the bottom at least because otherwise we would kind of miss it thanks to the Dokon attack. We definitely don't need to use another Barber because, uh, yeah, he's about to get obliterated. So... Let's see if we can hit as many of these as possible with the mouse. Oh, that's a little bit of a fast one. So, what do we go up to? Yeah, 3.5 million attack stat. So, basically giving him an extra 500,000 that we he would have got from a normal support unit. Just from the use of her active skill. So, obviously very useful to save for like the final phase of an event. Or if you're on Super Battle Road. If there's a turn where you absolutely want to finish off a specific enemy, then that is going to come in very, very clutch. So, I guess we don't need to go on much longer. We've seen her support and we've seen her tank now. I don't want the video to be too long, but there you go. That is a taste of just how good the LR B-Pan is. Uh, pretty much going to be a staple on any team you can put her on at this point. And obviously because she is an STR type, she will work on the Vegeta family team as well as the Goku family. So you will be able to use her on quite a variety of teams. Things like Hybrid Saiyans for Super Battle Road, she's going to be very, very useful. So let me know down in the comments, have you LR'd your B-Pan? Did you make sure to do your event every day? Don't forget, F's in the chat for Jake and Roy for their uh, negligence. So uh, hopefully they will have their LRs very soon. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been The Master Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. You can follow my Twitch channel or join my Discord. The links are in the description below. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.